He's talking about how he wants to play Palutena a lot more than Peach because he says he doesn't feel as good with Peach. He thinks that Palu is better. But it, feel, it felt more comfortable with Peach against Sinji. See, I think the thing is is that Palutena is... I've used this word a lot, and I'm going to keep using it. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel that she's more accessible. Peach, you know... Even with all the Twitter combos, not just for her, but for a lot of characters, a lot of those combos are practical, but they're difficult. Uh, whereas Palutena, uh, she's, you know, pretty well-rounded as a character. A lot of her strings are fairly simple. A lot of her follow-ups are good. Her projectiles are both nice, but not extremely committal or extremely crazy. Um, so I feel she's much stronger as far as neutral base goes. If you want, just want to play on fundamentals, Palutena is a far easier character to pick up than Peach, who's like, Oh, if you know flow cancel block strings and all that, yep. then you can start performing with this character. But until then, don't even think about it. And that, I mean, that's Frozen in a nutshell, man. Mm -hmm. So I, I get why he prefers to go with Pal Tandem. Meanwhile, we got King Ark on the other side, repping, still representing Mega Man from the previous game. Rocking with him a little bit better. I believe he won a Xeno a couple weeks back. Yes, he did. He won Xeno, and I, we'd actually just talk with Devin about that. He's gotten uh, first, second, uh, like that very consistently. He's been showing up very well. Being one of the only Mega Mans in New York City, you know, you got that advantage. Try to go for the spike. Good recovery from Frozen. Going to be able to try to avoid that. All right, so playing a very even percent right here, but I feel this will get a lot more difficult depending on who takes the first stock. Is Palutena a little bit better at keep away than aggression, and Mega Man very nice at playing just outside of most characters' mid ranges. And you know what? Frozen's been on point with these teleport cancels. Mm -hmm. like, he's been going off stage with them a lot lately, especially going for like spikes. Thought the bomb was going to go off a little bit sooner, so he tried to jump right afterwards or try to avoid it with an air dodge. Missed time to take the explosion damage in the follow up from King Art. Gets the explosive flame, still sitting at 134%. Yep, very close. Honestly, if he had gotten Clipped by the full move, I think that would have been chance. But Ooh, back air to shield. Keeps him out. All right. So now let's see what King Art can do with this one stock up. Let's see if he can't get some good extra credit here. Honestly, honestly, that was a pretty cheeky option. You saw him like put the, the crash bomb on him the second he spawns in. Mm -hmm. Keeping it on the invincibility weighted out. Wow. And good that trade. Kills. Back air. Back air is a very strong move. Back air is very strong. All right. <laughs> Good spacing from King Art. My man just ducked that. Yeah. Didn't even try to commit to the shield. No, Crash Bomb's going to have to force out the shield from both contenders. Uh, Palutena going for the jab. We were talking... Um previously about jab being not a crazy good move for Palutena because it doesn't have the um, the mix-ups or the grab confirms off of it now. But going out of it on shield there, really good because it's one of the uh, hold to, to yeah. rabbit jab. It's that as well as it's a quick burst option. You know, if you just need something quick to come out when you're on the ground. Absolutely. Now we got King Arc sitting at 113, going to challenge it with a dash attack. Back air really good because of the eye, uh, not eye frames, but like the, because the shield comes out. Yeah, yeah, Has yeah. like a little blocking attack on it. Mm -hmm. Very good for going in on that. Oh, good recovery from King Arc. You saw him go so deep and go for the air, directional air dodge upwards, but it's not going to matter. Frozen's going to take away the second stock mm -hmm. from your boy. Looking a little difficult right now. Certainly not undoable, but it's very difficult for uh, Mega Man to get in on a Campy Palutena. Mm -hmm. I feel like she can play far enough back that Mega Man has to try to get glancing a lot of hits like this. When Palutena, I feel, has better conversions off those glancing hits than Mega Man does. All right, offstage nearly catches it. The slash go. Stage control. I think he uses double jump? Yeah, he had yeah. to get back to the stage with Uppy. Oh, yeah. guy that missed tech goes for the down tilt into an explosive flame on the correct tech that time. Frozen starting to get all the momentum away from him. A potential spike. Plus with the down tilt. Yep, goes back on stage. He doesn't look like he wants to give up too much stage control right now. Ooh. Calls out the air dodge. Has a forward smash with his name on it. He's being sent to heaven. Game one going to Frozen. Can robots go to heaven, though? I mean, okay, so th there's that debate, right? Like, yes. uh, it, it, robots, do they have souls? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I, I think Mega Man has a soul. See, I think he, he, he has a personality. Have you read the Mega Man Archie comics? I haven't, honestly. Oh. I know very little about Mega Man lore. Um, he's, a, he's a kid that's also a robot that, that was a robot that looks like a kid. But but what, <laughs> is, he, is he an android? Is he a cyborg? <laughs> is he... Because here's the thing, right? If he was a kid that was like... Say he was in an accident or he volunteered. No, he was he a robot. A... He was a robot. Okay, so he was a robot. Mm -hmm. So uh, he would have to be programmed with a soul. But that means that... Uh, Dr. Light would have to be capable of knowing what a soul is okay. to program it. So does Pinocchio have a soul? That's a solid question. Um, well, that was magic, I think. He was given what life by magic. What the hell am I listening to? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, look. Pinocchio was given solid magic, right? And granted, yeah. granted, fantasy whoa, science. Whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, I, I'm stopping this entire conversation Wait. because I just heard Ridley get picked. Oh my God, he did pick Ridley. Why? Mega Man doesn't have a soul, so he's going for Ridley instead, who Yo. also doesn't have a soul. This character is evil. 
Evil! Yo, this man is playing with his heart and spirit on his sleeve. Just now. a refresher. So last week, Grand Finals was between Frozen and King Arc. Right. And uh, for the very last game, King Arc gave Ridley a shot. Yes. And it did not work out. Uh, it did not. But, but maybe this time. It's been a week. Yeah. Things can change in seven See, days. Here's the thing, right? The thing that sucks about this, um, for anyone who has touched Ridley for more than like five minutes, will probably be able to tell you, Ridley is a fat boy. He's a skinny boy, but my god, he will get clipped with so many moves he doesn't want to be because his move speed is good, but his tail is part of his heart body. He's also tall, man. He's, he's very just, tall. He just slaps it, man. Like, yeah. He's got back problems. Nice catch. Can you catch that yeah. double jump with the up air? Sitting at 94%. Try to go for the ledger there. The side yeah. B goes a little bit too low. Interesting to challenge that because up B is actually kind of hard to beat out. It's a very good hitbox. All right, going for the smashes there. I think maybe why he would have gone for this is because Ridley has enough of a mix-up with that, with that range, that he can threaten the neutral. Um, and his pokes are actually longer range than Palutena, but I don't know that they beat them outright, which I think is a serious problem against Palutena. And you also got to respect that uh, those projectiles. It's, it kind of forces Frozen to have to recover high. Those fireballs are really good. You see Mario's fireballs? Imagine that, like, on crack. Yes. That's, that's these guys, Absolutely. these bad boys. See, and you, you see how high he did the back air there and he still clipped the top of his head. Like, Ridley is even slouching, even with the posture of a man who's been sitting in a chair his entire life, he just still gets clipped. Yeah. And he's a, he's a big boy. He gets comboed, and he has a hard time landing, especially with the way uh, his up the axe can only go in four directions. It's not like a lot of uh, stall and then charge. Oh. Oh, okay. That, my man, my he man shouted. Screams. He screeched. <laughs> I'll go back to two stocks. Uh, neutral air from Palutena, a really good option for catching spot dodges because it's a long-lasting move. You know, you'll see him go over that a lot. I think he's taking... Okay, that's both jumps. All right, good call there. Fast falling down. Ridley being one of the characters, a uh, few characters in the game that have multiple jumps. Mm -hmm. Yep, just two, but just still... but still one more than you know. It's like Tarzard. Yeah, absolutely, he's uh, got wings for a reason. Absolutely, keeps it going. Tries to kill him back with the back air, but unfortunately that hitbox is not so generous yeah. vertically. I respect King Arc's decision to like, go off stage like that and just try to like close up the stock quickly because he has the power to. Yes. So might as well try to go for it, especially when you're losing like that. Maybe you need like a hail mary type of play like that. Mm -hmm. See, forces the, the double jump with the explosive flame. The thing is, is I feel like uh, Ridley's edge guarding really shines against characters who have a more vulnerable recovery, right? Nair, forward air, um, even up air, honestly. Like, fast fall up air are all very large hitboxes that are extremely good at grabbing people, but if you're teleporting, there's not really any hitbox to grab, which I feel is a big part of Ridley's edge guarding. Or Ridley's game in general is, like, he wants to kill you off the side if he can. And yeah, Frozen's going to take away the second. Stock number two. Here we go, King Arc trying to get this back air as well. Frozen off to just stay backwards, go for the really good up B that she has in her arsenal. Teleport is starting to chain all these attacks together. 54 yep. damage, it continues, 67. Yep, keep going. All right. Okay, finds his right way now. back down to home base. Returns his neutral. He actually kind of just let him come back on that one. I think he could have kept that going pretty well. Ridley has a tough time landing. Now, oh. uh, I, King Arc was playing really well that game. It just, I feel, I felt that Palutena from Frozen just adapted too well. I, he's like, okay, I get what you're doing now. I get this game playing. I get this character, and now you're going to explode and take all the combo damage. Like you said yeah. previously, he's a big boy. going to take all the damage. has a massive hurt box, and, what's, and he weighs heavy. So. What's, what's unfortunate is that even though he's heavy, he's not uh, like an ultra heavy weight. He's no, not no, no, no. Bowser level. Ready he's not. He's top 10. But, yes, he's heavy. Yeah. Um, but he's not so heavy that rage really starts to factor in. Yeah. Like, he still dies early enough, especially for Palutena, who has uh, good pressure like that on the ledge. Again, Ridley has a hard time landing, a hard time coming back just because he's such a big boy, and he's just mm. not quite fast to 